y'all. Uh, West Memphis, Arkansas, man. Headed to Osceola, Arkansas, man, to grab a coil. Uh, little light load, man. Uh, after I dropped dropped off uh, early this morning, since it's Thursday morning, I don't know when this video gonna come out. But uh, after I dropped off, man, I went to the Lulz in Memphis, man, about 10 o'clock this morning. Didn't get anything jumping off all day. <laughs> and then at about four o'clock, a DM called with a load going from Osceola where I'm headed to now. Uh headed back to Hueytown, which is right outside of Birmingham. Uh Ain't paying too much, man. Really ain't paying nothing at all, to be honest, man. Only $669, so that really ain't, <laughs> that really ain't nothing. But I looked at it as I can either make that $669 to the truck, or I could have kept on sitting, sat all, sat all night, and just had a busted day. Then plus it's in Birmingham. I know I'm pretty sure I can grab some out of Birmingham. And uh, that'll take me home. So, hey, what the heck? Went on ahead and grabbed it, man. I really didn't want to do it, man. You know, sometimes you got to make yourself do some stuff you don't want to do out here in this truck, man. And it's, and it's real tempting to say, nah, I'm good, man. Especially when you got the choice to, to say, nah, I'm good. I was thinking about it, y'all, but. I went on ahead and grabbed it, man, so I can set myself up to grab something tomorrow and head to the high, man. I'll be four hours away versus eight, so, you know, I went on ahead and grabbed that thing, man, so I'm on my way to get that thing now. Uh, probably won't, probably won't be showing no security man on it, man, for two reasons. One is dark, and two, only got an hour and 58 minutes on my clock. By the time I get there, I'm gonna have like an hour and 15 minutes, even though I can sleep at the ship of I'm still going to try to hurry up and get it done before it get completely dark, dark. So, yeah. It probably won't be showed, man, but y'all sit back and stay tuned, man. We're going to see what we get next, man. y'all 
So, we are sitting here playing the waiting game, man. Uh, this is the first, I, I call it hiccup. First little hiccup that I've had at PNS. So today is Friday. Earlier I came and told y'all, uh, actually that was yesterday uh, when I made that video. I was on my way to pick up a uh, 45,000 pound steel coil out of Osceola, Arkansas. Brought it down here to Hewitt Town, AKA Birmingham, right outside of Birmingham. Might as well say Birmingham, same thing. And that was supposed to set me up to grab something out of Birmingham to head home. Well, just got the call and uh, ain't nothing going down south from Birmingham. And she called the mobile yard to see if they had anything going that way. And ain't nothing going that way neither. So, now I'm sitting here playing the waiting game to see if they can find me something going toward the house or something to pick up on uh, Mobile or Birmingham uh, that I can pick up sometime today. The only thing about that is, as of right now, I have five hours and 42 minutes on my clock. Uh, on my drive clock I have 6 hours and 47 minutes but it might not even be that last time I checked it it's probably like 6 hours and, and like 15 minutes I'm about 30 minutes ago when I checked 6 hours 6 hours basically 5 hours of drive time 6 hours on, on 14 hours on duty time y'all already know how this shit go you're sitting here I'm sitting here waiting so Therefore, them five hours probably about to get started to get eight up here in, in a little bit. And it is four and a half hours from Birmingham to my house. So that means that I'm probably not getting home today. I probably can get close, but I'm not going to get home today. But uh, it looked like I might not get home this whole weekend because I was just uh, informed if my only two options would be if they don't have anything going my way, I would either have to take a load going somewhere else, make some money this weekend, or sit where I'm at the weekend and get $200 for layover pay. So I was just like, um... Uh, I'm thinking to myself, why why is a, a deadhead not an option? If I'm supposed to be going home, why is a deadhead not an option? I mean, I'm close enough to deadhead home. I've deadheaded from Birmingham before, so why is deadhead not an option if I'm supposed to be going home every weekend unless I choose to stay out? But I, I didn't ask that question. I'm just sitting back and waiting and seeing how everything is going to play itself out. But yeah, that's the scenario that's going on right now, man. So we actually still sitting here at this uh, pre-cold metals place, man. I ain't moved yet, man. I think once my uh, once my five hours start getting ate up, if I don't hear nothing uh, by then, I'll probably just take it to the, to the truck stop and, and see what's going to happen after that, man. But... Yeah, that's, 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 it's kind of a hiccup. We're going to call it a hiccup for right now. Just started, you know, it's trucking. Everything don't go as planned all the time. So, hey, I mean, as long as it don't be a repetitive thing, then we all good. You know, just a little hiccup, slight hiccup. Not a problem yet, not none of that. You know, just a hiccup. But yeah, man, we just sitting here waiting. <laughs> sitting here waiting. Waiting for the clock to start trickling down to hit zero, man. So I guess y'all sit back and stay tuned, man. When I find out something, I let y'all know, man. Hopefully, man, worst case scenario, I get home in the morning. But if not, I don't know. But I let y'all know, man. I'll get back with y'all in a minute. All right, y'all. 
Well, you stand out, man. The choices was, uh, it was uh, four or five loads, most of them going either across from where I'm at, short for no type of money, or a load going to Indiana. Uh, and one going to Missouri. It was a wide load going to Missouri, so I didn't want no parts of that. And they had one that was going to Indiana that was uh, preloaded. So all I gotta do is go pick it up. I'm not sure if it's uh, already ready for me, or I have it secured, or it's already secure and everything. But I'll see when I get there, but it's already preloaded. It's a uh, it's it's steel pipe going to Indiana. Paid me about 1400 bucks to the truck, so pretty good little amount of money man i make a little extra money and it uh it be sitting around man and not you know making nothing at all still can't go home so i might as well just make some bread man well you know it is what it is though so <laughs> we're gonna go get this little bread man and you know make the little change over the weekend Got to stay out for a weekend. Perfect. It is what it is. Like I said earlier, man, a hiccup. So, <laughs> we're going to call it that for now, man. Let's go ahead and go get this load, man, so we can go ahead and get somewhere, sit down and shut it down for the day. Y'all sit back, enjoy the ride. Stay tuned, man. Going to get this pipe. Alright y'all, we done made it here man, and I'm trying to grab my preloaded trailer man, oh, it's a pretty big pipe yard man, pretty big pipe yard, my first time here man, we going to Birmingham, every time I usually go to Birmingham when I was with Melton, I used to get metal. you know what I'm saying, but now, all types of stuff man my second pipe load this is a different yard than the other pipe than the other pipe load so yeah man i'm gonna grab this thing man and we gonna uh we gonna get on down man yes indeed uh, hold up i think i took the wrong turn y'all i see the trailers but can't get the no trailer from him. Oh, shucks. I think I know where I turned bad at, y'all. I'm trying to get out this maze, man. <laughs> and I'll get back with y'all in just a second, man. Y'all sit back and stay tuned. All right, y'all. We found our trailer, man. This is what we got. Just some more uh, pipe. This is all it is to it. Couple straps on the top, and we ready to roll, man. Yeah, man. 
It's a wrap for the day, man. I got your money to get this low, man. I'm in a nice size city. I'm about to find the nearest truck stop. And I'm about to shut this thing down, man. So, man. Y'all sit back and stay tuned, man. For the end of the video. It's about to be a wrap. I'll get back with y'all in just a second. Whew. All right, y'all. It's a wrap for the day. Probably a wrap for tomorrow, man. I'm going to get my reset in while I'm here, man. I'm going to do my reset down here, man. And just shoot up there Sunday, early Sunday morning. Going to slam that thing on out, man. Be done. Uh, Be done probably about 1 o'clock, 2 o'clock, something like that. And uh, going to be up there, man. If I can't go all the way, I'll be right there in the vicinity. All I got to do is drive to it. My appointment is at 9.30 uh, Monday morning, so, you know, I got plenty of time to get it done, man. I can't go no other, no earlier than 30 minutes earlier. I already sit on my notes. But it's parking very limited, so it must probably going to be a little tight space. It actually looks kind of wide on Google Maps, but, yeah, they, they said oh, no more than 30 minutes early, so I'll be there for 9 o'clock. <laughs> I'll be there for 9 o'clock. That's my 30 minutes early. So, yeah, man. They gonna sit back, relax, make the best out of their weekend, man. Ain't nothing I ain't been, uh, ain't nothing I ain't used to, man. You know, just gonna do what we gotta do, get this low up here on time Monday morning. Cash in for the week, man. Well, until next time, y'all, y'all drivers out there, y'all stay safe. Y'all keep on trucking. This your boy, Chris the Trucker. And I'm out. Just a ghetto child trying